The Great Barrier Reef is Australia's natural pride and joy, yet the future health of the coral system is in doubt. The Great Barrier Reef is in the worst state it's ever been since records began. That's what President of the Australian Coral Reef Society, Peter Mumby, reckons. Over the past 30 years, the world's largest reef has lost almost half of its coral cover. The Institute of Marine Science has attributed the loss to storms, the destructive crown of thorn starfish and coral bleaching. But it's on top of this stress that the Queensland and Australian Government has planned to expand the ports in the area and aim to increase the amount of coal we export by up to 30%. Queensland already exports half the world's coking coal which is used to make steel in Asian manufacturing countries like Japan and China. The export of Australian coal for power generation is projected to increase 6% annually, reaching 257 million tonnes by 2019. In 2009, the export industry was worth $30 billion, but has dropped in recent years with a decline in coal prices. There are 12 ports in the Great Barrier Reef region, with Gladstone, Abbots Point, Townsville and Cairns all having proposed dredging to increase the water depth to ensure the safe passage of ships. This would involve scraping the bottom of World Heritage listed seabed and then dumping the waste back onto the marine park. With all the port expansions planned, an estimated 85 million cubic metres of dredging is set to go ahead, which translates to about 150 million tonnes of waste. The reason behind all of this? To pick up the thermal coal that's been dug up 500 kilometres away, transported by diesel train to the ports, loaded onto ships and then shipped overseas to be burnt in coal-fired power plants to put CO2 into the atmosphere to add to the greenhouse effect, to warm waters, increase coral bleaching, cyclones and storms, and the mating season of the crown of thorns starfish. The Great Barrier Reef, a fragile environment that's about to get ripped apart. Looks like the future health of the World Heritage Landmark isn't looking exactly shipshape anymore.